Hello everybody and welcome to this lecture on the diffusion equation. Um, so this is going to use some of the results that we have uh, studied from the, from the past couple of lectures. In particular, um, we derived this uh, continuity equation for the number of neutrons in every unit volume, in every volume, subvolume. Um, but the problem with that is that you have to know the current at every in every volume right you have to see what the flow is between every point in your space and so uh, that's kind of annoying so luckily <laughs> from Fick's law we have uh, from a couple lectures ago uh, you'll recall that we have that the current is actually equal to um, the negative of the diffusion coefficient times the gradient of the flux, right? So J equals minus D uh, grad phi. Uh, so if we substitute this back into our continuity equation, right? So our continuity equation was that we have uh, DN <laughs> uh, DT is equal to our source term minus our absorption term sigma uh, sigma sub a times the flux uh, minus the uh, divergence so nebula of c dot of j right so uh, that was our continuity equation, and then we're going to substitute in that value for j here um, uh, that we got from Fick's law. So this will be um, minus d times <laughs> um, uh, the gradient of the flux. Um, so if we pull this stuff out, oops. Uh, um, then what we get here in this term is that we get a plus d. So we're going to assume that d doesn't really change with the location of the material. Um, plus d times the divergence of the gradient. Um, of the flux. Uh, so plus d uh, del dot del uh, of phi. Um, now um, you may recall that this del squared um, oops, uh, actually has a certain name, so this is called the Laplacian. Uh, and sometimes in engineering, it just goes by the letter delta, uh, but we won't be doing that in this class. So if you're familiar with this, um, uh, it's not, this, is, this basically represents the second derivative with respect to every component. Um, and so if we do that, we can get the term, uh, let's just sub that in, and then we get the Laplacian uh, times the flux. Uh, so uh, now we have one more little thing to do, right? So. Uh, basically, every term in here is either a constant or in terms of flux, except for the dn dt, so that's a little annoying. But you'll recall from very early in the class, hopefully, that, uh, and we've mentioned this a couple of times, that the flux is actually equal to um, the number of neutrons times the velocity of those neutrons. And so um, we can say then that. Um, Right, that the n 
oops, is equal to the flux divided by the velocity. And so um, if we substitute this version in for n and we assume that the velocities of the neutrons doesn't change over time, then uh, what we get is um, one, oops, fraction, one over v d phi dt equals s minus sigma a phi times uh, v divergent times the, or, or plus the diffusion coefficient times the Laplacian uh, times the flux. Um, and this is now one equation with one unknown, the flux. Um, and so this is actually called, this is what we refer to as the diffusion equation. Okay, so that's it in all of its glory. Um, and this can get you really, really far in the world of the nuclear engineering. Um, in particular, so if we wanted to look at a steady state uh, system, right, we can do the same thing that we had before, which is basically this d phi dt doesn't change as a function of time. And so um, uh, let me do this. And so what we have is 0 equals, um, oftentimes this is phrased as the, uh, we have, we're trying to leave these, the, the, this term positive. So what we say, um, oops, x. So we'd say d times the Laplacian of uh, the flux plus s uh, plus our source term minus our absorption term sigma a times the flux. Um, okay now this expression for these particular steady state systems sometimes gets rewritten in the following way so it's good to know about that as well. Um, so let's call um, the diffusion oops fusion length uh, L squared okay or let's call it the diffusion length L um, and in terms of and that's gonna have units of centimeters and we define this as being L squared equals uh, the diffusion coefficient over um, sigma a or over the macroscopic cr fish, uh, uh, macroscopic absorption cross section or said another way this L is equal to or the diffusion length is equal to um, the square root of uh, the diffusion coefficient over the absorption cross-section. Um, and so if you do this, you can rewrite the um, diffusion equation uh, in a couple of different ways. So let's start by taking the diffusion equation for a steady state system. Um, oops. Um, and we'll divide the whole thing by the diffusion coefficient, right? So zero divided by d is uh, zero. The first term is just the Laplacian. The source term, or the Laplacian of the flux. The second term is s over um, d. And then the third term <laughs> uh, is sigma a um, uh, over d. Okay, and that's all equal to zero. And so uh, how this sometimes gets rewritten, uh, right? So, oops, uh, 
So this term minus sigma d minus sigma a over d, that's just one over the uh, or minus one over the um, diffusion diffusion length squared. So this gets traditionally put up in front. So you say um, fraction one over l squared times phi. Uh, plus the f source term divided by the diffusion coefficient. Um, and, uh, whoops. <laughs> um, and so then if we want to couple the phi terms and these other terms, what we would get is, um, and take the source term on the other side, what we would see is, um, oops. Uh, nabla or the 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 Laplacian of the flux minus uh, one over the diffusion length squared times the flux equals negative the source term over the diffusion coefficient. So it, this is basically the same as the steady state version, or it's bas it's the same, but it has reduced these contact. Uh, it's it's reduced the um, the number of constants and sort of move things over. And the diffusion length physically is sort of how far um, how far neutrons are going to diffuse through the system on average before they're absorbed. So you can sort of think of it as kind of being related to the mean free path that's in other, uh, in other quantities, um, just like the diffusion coefficient is through the transport cross-section. Um, all right, I think that's where we'll call it. and. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Bye.